Hello, welcome to today's lesson where we are looking at um, the, the part of finding the equation of a straight line and uh, uh, coordinate geometry. Alright, so we are looking at uh, what is it that uh, we are supposed to carry out in order to find the equation. Now, to write the equation of a straight line, we always need uh, the coordinates of one point. We need the coordinates of one point as well as the gradient. Okay, that is what we need. So for me to write the equation, I use the formula. Uh, so we say solutions here. I use the formula y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. So, um, these ones who will, will not be replaced the y and the x. What I'm going to replace are these ones y1, x1, as well as the gradient. Okay, as well as the gradient. So, what is our gradient? Now, we look at the question in this case, the gradient has been provided, so we do not have issues. Then we go to the coordinates that we are looking for. A, a point has been given with it, both coordinates for x and for y. So this, the first one is very easy for us to work with. So we're going to go on and cut out that uh, the gradient is negative 4. Then this point has got two coordinates, the x coordinate and the y coordinate. So the x coordinate is what we're going to treat as our x1. The y coordinate is what we are going to treat as our y1. So we can begin to replace. Okay. We can begin to replace here uh, y minus y1. What is our y1? Uh, y minus y1. The y coordinate here. The y coordinate is 2. Is equals to the gradient is negative 4 then x minus the x coordinate is 5 all right that is what we are supposed to do then we work out this part so y minus 2 is equals to this this minus and this one we get plus 20 then we put the like terms together we are going to say y is equals to minus 4 uh, plus 20 and this one, the additive inverse of this one is plus what? 2. So y is equals to minus 4x plus 22. This is what is going to be our equation. Alright? So you should be able to replay the video if we, you have not gotten the, 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 the concept. You replay it so that you get what we are trying to explain. So that is what is involved here. So let's look at the second one. In the second question, gradient is not given, but we're given two points. So these two points would, would be able to help us find the gradient. It's as simple as that. The two points that have been given will be able to help us find the gradient, and that's what we're supposed to do. So let's see. Let's get started. So we come to the second part, which is the uh, question two. Okay, the first one was one, now we come to two. To two, the first thing that you need to do we need to find the gradient so how do we find the gradient the gradient is found by m is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 uh, minus x1 so these are the coordinates that we're going to treat here this one we're going to have we have the x coordinate here which is going to be our x1 this is going to be our y1 this is going to be our x2 this is going to be our y2 so we replace this in that formula so we have uh, 7 minus 1. We have 1 here. Oh, we have 7 minus 1 over what do we have? Here we have 8. 8 minus, and what do we have here? We have negative 4. So because of this negative, I'll make this uh, uh, a plus. Okay? Then we go on, what do we get? We have 6 over. We're going to get 6 over um, um, 12. Then this simplifies to be 1 over 1 over 2. This simplifies to be 1 over 2 in this case. 
So this is our gradient. This is our gradient. This is our gradient. So now we have what we are looking for. One of the things that we need to write the gradient, I mean to write the equation of a straight line, it's the gradient, which is our m. So our m is 1 over 2. Okay? So as you can see, when we come to our formula, our formula is y minus y1 is equals to uh, m x minus x1. All right? That is the formula that we use here. So what are we supposed to do? Gradient, we have found it. Then what will be, which point are we going to pick? So we can pick any of either of these two points. You can pick this one or this one. If you are picking this one, this is going to be your x, this is going to be your y there. If you are choosing this one, this is what is going to be your x, this is what is going to be. You will be able to get the same equation. You will be able to get the same equation. So which one do I pick? Um, sometimes you are better off using with a, 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 a point that doesn't have negative, just to avoid making mistakes. Or if you have one that has a zero, you even go for that one. Mathematics is all about simplifying. You go for something that is simpler. So we look at, uh, I'll go for this one, which is the second one. So we have y minus, what is the y coordinate here? The y coordinate is 7, so that is what I'm going to get. Minus 7, the gradient is 1 over 2, x minus 8 there. So in this case, usually when I have a fraction on the gradient part, I do advise people to, to cross multiply. In this case, it's even easier because this one can go into 8. But in instances where this one can't go in, you have a fraction, so it, sometimes it would end up giving you a challenge. So what I mean by cross multiplying, this 2 has to be multiplied by these ones. You have 2, y minus 7, then here you remain with 1, x minus 8. Then we have 2, um, 14, then x minus 8. So we put the like terms together, x, 8, plus 14. Alright, this one, the additive inverse of this one is a plus. So we have 2y is equals to 8, then you know this, because of integers, we're going to get what? Plus 6. Plus 6, we can leave it at this point, but if you want, you can go further, where you divide throughout by, um, you divide throughout by, say, O, we're going to have y is equals to uh, x over 2, um, plus this divided by 2, we get 3. So we can either get this one or that one. Okay? Uh, others, just at this point, this one will come the other side. You're going to have something like 2y minus x is equal to 6. It will still give us the, the equation that we are looking for. We will still get the equation that we are looking for. I hope the first two will help you to answer the last two. All right? These questions are very common in paper 1. Download the application that has the, the Examination Council of Zambia uh, past paper. Just go to uh, Play Store and then type uh, ECZ past papers. You'll be able to have that. Then it will help you. You even find these questions, how they come in the exam. So uh, thank you very much. You can do the last two questions. You can do the last two questions. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Wait for... Uh, look out for another presentation on the same topic. All right.